Okay, I wanted to um, do a video on how I came up with my um, cream soap recipe, how I figured it out. And I do recipes in percentages. Um, that's how I make up my recipes, that's how I've always done it. I don't start with grams or ounces of things, I start with percentages of things. And so the, um, the Summer Bee Meadows Advanced Lie Calculator it uh, it has only uh, amounts in ounces instead of percentages. So uh, I started with uh, making up my recipe in soap calc because it's the calculator I use all the time. Um, I, you uh, click on an item that you want to add to the list and you double click it and then it automatically will add the item to the list. Like see there that and plum kernel oil, and then if you want to uh, delete something, you press this little minus and it takes it off. So I've already added my um, oils that I'm using here, and then their percentages. Make sure this is clicked if you want to do percentages. And so I put them all in, put all the percentages I want of each one in. Um, I did a, it says automatically does a super fat of 5% and it automatically starts with one pound. I want to do one pound anyway, so I'm, I'm going to do uh, one pound of, of this particular recipe. The super fat amount doesn't, doesn't really matter. It, it just affects what comes up for the lie calculation and I'm not going to use the lie calculation in this particular instance. So I calculate recipe and then hit I don't know if you saw that, view or print recipe, and it comes up in another screen with this. So what I did is I wrote down um, the percentages, of course, is already written down. So I wrote down what it said for the ounces and what it said for the grams of each individual item. And you'll notice here this is the, uh, the hardness, cleansing, conditioning, um, bubbly, creamy, iodine, and INS numbers right here. So that's that's always good to have. So I wrote that down as well. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> Although I don't know if this matters in cream soap yet or not. We'll find out. I'll find out. Uh, but yeah, I don't know yet if that really makes a difference. I do know that the steer acid on this is 56. So I don't know if that means that it will be a hard one or if it'll be medium density maybe a cream soap we'll find out uh, those ounces amount here and then I went over to the Summer Bee Meadows advanced lie calculator you go to their main page and then you click on advanced calculator right here <clears throat> I named this recipe my first cream soap click on cream soap to choose the type of soap and I'm just a beginner so I'm going by the information that I got um, from reading several web pages um, and from reading the help section here if you go here and then I want to make cream soap it comes up with step-by-step -step inputs for their lie calculator and right here it says um, Generally, cream soaps have traditionally been made with potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide at a 5 to 1 um, potassium hydroxide to sodium hydroxide ratio. So it's 83.33% potassium hydroxide to 16.67% sodium hydroxide. So that's the amount that I put in there. That's how I came up with that amount. <laughs> And I didn't put anything in for the glycerin. It will automatically calculate 55% of your um, glycerin content. So, yeah, see it says here that batch glycerin content will be auto-calculated at 55% of the stearic acid content in the recipe formula of the oils entered. So I imagine that includes also the fact that I've entered cocoa butter and shea butter and there's stearic acid in those oils as well. So it'll automatically calculate that for me. So I don't put anything in, in there. Um, I'm not using any alcohol. 
I don't want to make things any more complicated than they already are. This is my first time doing it, so I'm not going to do that. If you want, you can enter in your pot weight and your utensil weight if you want to weigh your stuff at the end and find out if your batch weight is the weight that it's supposed to be and add the appropriate amount of water. Okay, so down here, I added all of my oils. There's my stearic acid, coconut oil, castor oil, and then the ounces amount. So you just add it by clicking on the arrow and it comes up with uh, all these options here. And then you can go down and click on whatever oil you have and you want to use. So I've already done that. And then you click here when done. You can also add your um, other ingredients, like if you wanted to add icing sugar, clay, um, silk protein, anything else like that, you can put it in there. So you click on that. Whoops, I'll just show you that again. You click on click here when done. And this is what comes up. I found I the first time I read this, I was so confused. Uh, <laughs> the layout is a little oh, is a lot different than what I'm used to, so I was a little confused. Okay, so here's my ounces amounts for each oil, and there's my percentages. So I already have that. What I need is how much water to use. There's my water amount, my initial amount of water. So it's 14.73 ounces. And then here's my amount for potassium hydroxide. And here's my amount for sodium hydroxide. And then here right here is my amount for how much glycerin I use in the batch and you add this glycerin um, with your oils at the beginning of the uh, of the cook and I'm not using any alcohol so I don't need to use that so initial batch weight should be two pounds and six point three two ounces replacement water so I believe I don't know for sure but I believe this is the amount of water, if you need to add water um, after the 24-hour period, this is how much water that you, you should use to equal this weight. And it says to use hot water to avoid batch seizing. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know for sure. It's just what I, what I have deduced so far. And then this is your total batch weight when it's done. And I don't know. 47%. I don't know what the neat so content means. I really don't. So your maximum finishing fluids, it says here, is 8.37 ounces. Add up to this amount, subtracting the super cream, water, or glycerin from this figure. Hmm. Speaking of super cream, your super cream amounts come up right here. And they come up, you can use either stearic acid and glycerin. Oops. Stearic acid plus glycerin or you can use boric acid plus water. I chose for this particular time to use stearic acid and glycerin. I'm only going to do 3% though. So these amounts here, oops, these two amounts here. So I'm only going to do that that amount because I don't want uh, too much stearic acid free floating in my in my cream soap. And so if you want to resize your recipe, total batch weight desired, you can add in your pounds and ounces, and then it will resize it for you, and it will up um, whatever ounces you need for that particular recipe. This is what I've learned so far. It might not be much. It doesn't seem like much <laughs> right now. There are still things that I don't really know. But I'm going to start with, um, it, for instance, um, when it talks about done batch weight and different water amounts. Uh, I'm not sure if 
when I'm supposed to add this water. I think it's after the 24 hours. I think it's after the 24 hours if your if your soap isn't uh, liquefied enough when you try to stir it you can add this much more water to make it more workable and then your batch size should total this weight here when it's done after the 24 hours that's what I'm thinking but I don't know for sure I'm just uh, I'm experimenting So that's lots of fun. <laughs> and this is how, so far, I've learned to use advanced lie calculator. I encourage anybody to go to the help section. Oh, but you have to do it for cream soap. The only way you can get any information on cream soap is from this page here. And the advanced soap calculator main page. And you click help over here rate rate this button right here this is the only button that seems to work and you click on I want to make cream soaps so this is the only button that seems to work to bring up this, this information all the other uh, um, buttons come up with a cons on uh, doing construction symbol so I think that's everything I wanted to say. I'm making my cream soap as I'm speaking to you right now, so we'll find out soon how it turns out. We will. Okay, happy soaping.